over to Mark now, who's marking the occasion of National Lamb Day. How are you, Mark? You good? Good, good. Right, have I got a great recipe for you guys. It's National Lamb Day, so we're going to celebrate, and I'm going to do my favourite dish, what I like to do with lamb, a tagine. It's really good. It's really simple. We've got all these fantastic flavours, uh, ingredients here. You know, it's a Moroccan dish. We've got some spices in there. We've got some saffron. We're going to finish it with chickpeas. We've got all these beautiful fresh herbs as well, and lamb and mint perfect combination together. We're using the shoulder today, so it does take a little bit of cooking, about two and a half hours or so, and we're going to cook it in the tagine here. I'm going to show you and teach you about this a little bit later on in the show. So come back and we'll make this amazing dish for National Lamb Day. Over to you, Mel. We are back in the cafe kitchen with a dish to celebrate National Lamb Day. I love lamb. It is my favourite, actually, out of all the meats. And what have we got today, Mark? Right, so we've got some lamb shoulder. So a beautiful part of the lamb, mm. really tasty. Mm. The only thing, you need to cook it uh, for quite a long time. So okay. the tagine is absolutely perfect. Nice. Yeah, we've got all the ingredients here. We're going to cook it in this pot, which is called a tagine, and it just slowly cooks and sort of steams and uh, you know develops all those flavours, and they really get into the lamb and make it nice and tender. Beautiful, and that's what you like, nice tender lamb. And these here you can find, keep an eye out for them. Sometimes they can range from $30 all the way up to about $200, $300. So they are easily available. Get one, I reckon, and try Oh, definitely. Dish. It's, yeah. it's great. I mean, you can do anything you want in here. It's just basically, it's just like a crock pot, really. Yeah, yeah nice. So in Morocco, the guys, uh, you know, they, they build up the tagines, they put everything in in the morning, they drop it off at the baths, public pools, yeah. go to work, you know, they put it next to the fire, they come back at five o'clock, it's ready to go. Pick Brilliant. It up, take it home. That's a good way to get dinner sorted, isn't That's it? That's it, yeah. Fast, okay, speaking food. of getting sorted, what have we got? What right. do you want me to do? Right, so we've got the lamb here, so we just diced it up. Um, any little bit, sort of extra bits of fat or sinew, you just trim them off, you know, so you just got the nice sort of lamb meat. And then we're just going to do a nice spice mix for it here. So I've got some cumin seeds here. Yep. So I'm just going to grind them down a little bit. Okay, cool. I can do that for you. And then I've got some ginger, there's some powdered ginger there, there's some powdered coriander, some paprika, and cayenne pepper as well, just for a little uh, sort of spice and a little bit of chilli hit. Yeah, I can smell you know? that straight away. Well, Moroccan foods, uh, you know, it's a little bit spicy, but it's all about sort of sweet and very, very, um, you know, aromatic right. sort of uh, dish as well. We've got some olives, which we're going to finish it off a little bit later, mm. and preserved lemon as well, which is really easy to do, or you can just bite it in a jar. Nice work. Do you like working with lamb? Yeah, no, I love lamb. So all of this it's in really here, It's right? really good. Yeah. Uh, well, that's all grinded, so that's fine. So you can mix it all in there, and okay. then we're just going to marinate the lamb. Okay, okay cool. so we'll just pop the lamb in a bowl. You know what I had the other day, actually? A friend of mine did some slow-cooked lamb, which was pulled, and it was in a bap with coleslaw, and Ooh. it was just beautiful. A bap. Honestly, yeah, in a bap. Yeah, it was so <laughs> good. But I never had pulled lamb before, but I like the old lamb chops. No, I like, great. I like lamb shanks over winter, so anything lamb, I'm oh. here. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, you can eat it all year round. And then obviously different parts of the lamb, you cook them differently, you know, mm. serve them pink, slow cook them. The leg as well, beautiful for a roast. Right, so we've got all the spices in there, so you can tip that over the lamb. <laughs> Give it a nice stir. It's going to pop a little bit of uh, salt and pepper in there as well. Yep. Just to start getting all the flavours going. So. You know, if you're in a bit of a rush, you know, just give this sort of like 20 minutes, half an hour. If you've got a lot more time and you are a bit more organised, do it overnight. The longer you leave it, the more flavour you're going to get in there. Oh, it's so aromatic, I can smell that. It's beautiful. Right, and then, so we are just going to get all our mise en place ready. So we're going to cut an onion now. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to slowly start sweating our onion in our tagine pot. Okay, cool. Okay, we're going to put the, the onion in there. We're going to put the garlic in there as well. And then just start cooking it to so release all those flavours. You don't want any colour. We're just slow cooking just to release those flavours. And then once this is marinated, we're going to put that in the pot as well. And we're going to start cooking it with the onion. And all those spices are going to toast and release all their flavours. Oh, <clears throat> that is looking good. It is smelling good too. Did you know, on average, we export about 20 million lambs overseas. So the wow. rest of the world love our lamb too. Oh, so I know. That's it's good why we're I can't celebrating get any in the it today. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> And butterfly lamb on a Barbie. That's one of oh, Mel's favourites. One of your favourites, isn't it, Mel? She <laughs> likes that. Easy. Okay, cool. Right, so just warm it up. A little bit of olive oil. Yep. And just keep that sort of nice low to medium heat. And we're just going to sweat our onions off first. So these take about sort of five, ten minutes. So come back a bit later and we'll show you exactly what we want with these onions nice and the work. garlic. And then we'll start cooking the lamb. OK, excellent. Thank you very much, Mark. Catch the recipe at thecafe.co.nz or for extra lamb recipes, go to recipes.co.nz.
Well, still to come, we'll be in the Harvey Norman Lounge to hear all about award-winning Holly Smith's upcoming South Island tour. Right now, though, Mark is showing us the next steps to create this Moroccan lamb tagine dish because it is National Lamb Day. Go on, get some lamb for dinner tonight. <laughs> uh, so, onions are done? Yeah, so the onions, so you can see they're nice and translucent, they're nice and soft, the garlic's been softened in there as well. Beautiful flavour, mm. great base for the tagine. Just going to get some chicken stock now. So just bring this up to the boil and we're going to pop the saffron in here. So if you have a look at that, there's not a lot of saffron in there. That's about a day's pay, isn't it? <laughs> it's about a week's pay, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's very expensive and you don't need a lot, you know? So, so just sneeze. a pinch yeah. Yeah, is plenty. And then yeah. we'll just bring that up to the boil, just yep. let it simmer a bit and it will just release all those flavours and it will give it a nice yellow tinge to the uh, stock. OK, cool. Right, so back in the tagine. So we're going to... You can do this in separate pans if you really want to, if you want to speed up the process, but it's great to do it in one pan because then you're just left with all the flavours from the spices. So, tagine's back on the um, heat. Yep. A little bit more olive oil. And we've got our marinated lamb. Just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of flour. OK, and well, the purpose of that? Yeah, so it's just going to help us get like some nice colouring in there. OK. And then also the flour, as the whole tagine's cooking, and the stock is going to thicken it slightly. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, obviously, if you're gluten-free, you can use some rice flour or, you know, you don't even need to put it in if you don't want to. Okay. That's fine. So, it's an optional extra? Yep. Smelling fantastic. Right, so get this nice and hot. And then, same with anything with the meat. Nice hot pan, so you want to sear it off. Turn it around. We want to get some good colour on this. Yeah. So, and then you don't want to overcrowd your pan as well. Okay. So, just pop a, pop a bit in there. If you've got more lamb, do it in two rounds. <coughs> OK, so you can keep an eye on that. OK, keep I Keep it can. going, get some nice colour on there. Right, we've got a little yeah. bit of kuma as well. So we're going to pop some kuma in, give us a nice bit of sweetness, but we're not going to pop that in at the beginning because the lamb's going to take about two, two and a half hours, and this is just going to turn to mush. So about half an hour before we f uh, serve, we want to dice this up, pop it in, okay. and it will just finish off cooking. You get a nice texture through there. And that time, we're also going to put the um, olives on there. So we've got some nice green olives. Just make sure you pit them. And then I'm just going to cut them into nice little strips, you know, so you've got a nice distribution throughout the whole tagine. And we've got some chickpeas as well. So these just in tins, uh, nice and soft, and again, just very sort of last minute, probably in the last sort of five, ten minutes of cooking, you just want to warm these through. And then the preserved lemons. See if it, you ever made these before? No, no, never. So really easy to make at home. So all you need to do is just sort of, you prick the lemon, yeah, and then you can sort of quarter it. Uh, and then you just rub it with salt. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. You can put yeah. some herbs in there, a bit more lemon juice, and then you can just pack it into a jar, and then you just preserve them. Oh, nice. And then they soften, and if you sort of smell that... Oh, yeah, that's yeah, you've good. You've got a really, really good so lemony good. hit there, but you've got this wonderful sort of, you know, deep, rich flavour, salty flavour as well, which is really good. Because they're preserved, you use the zest. The zest part, you can use a little bit of... Just you know, about that much underneath the zest. But you want to get rid of the pith, so you don't want this. And we're just going to dice that up as well, and then we'll just pop that through the tagine, and you get this lovely citrus flavour at the end. Mm. That's a really good tip, especially if you're oversupplied with lemons, isn't it? They <laughs> smell beautiful. That's it, so we can get the onions back in there now. OK. So pop all the onions back in there, we'll get the stock in there, we'll bring it back up to the boil, we'll turn it down, pop the lid on, and then it's just going to go in a hot oven, about 160, 180 degrees for about two, two and a half hours. You know, it's just going to slowly cook. The longer, the better, the more flavours you're going to develop. Right, so the longer, the better? Yeah. OK, yeah. good. Nice. So that's right, it's got a nice yellow tinge to it. There you go, you can see that now, yeah. There you Pop go, there, and then up. we'll just start cooking that. Beautiful. OK, cool. Thank you very much. This is honestly smelling incredible. Over to you and your dish in honour of National Lamb Day. Mark, how's it looking? That's it. We are nearly ready. I'm just going to finish off by chopping some mint, just roughly chop it, and a little bit of parsley as well. All the rest of the ingredients are in the tagine. Moment of truth. <gasps> Look at that. Looks beautiful. Yeah. Jeez, I can smell it from here. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Pop some herbs in there, just stir them through. So soft herbs, get them in, serve it straight away, otherwise they will go brown. Look at that. That's smelling absolutely oh, fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to bring it over. Yeah, bring it over. And the best thing about a tagine? 
Serve it in the tagine. Look at Ooh. this. Serving on the dishes. Yes. I like yes. that. And the good thing is there is still time for you to get this sorted for tonight because it's <laughs> National Lamb Day. Uh, what are you doing uh, tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got chicken on the menu with tomatoes, aubergines and olives.